I greet everybody. Welcome back to Alexo HQ. Today is the 15th day of January 2023. Right now, as so they talk to us, so Ikenga was attacked by the people of unknown government. When I mean unknown government, I mean anybody can represent unknown government, including our infiltrated military. Once that person don't pull the uniform, we are Mufti, Ogon, can be called unknown government. As I talk to now, the guy don't make a video for the release of Mazina the Kano. They call the attacker. They won't change the topic. Till now we in demand for the release of Mazina the Kano. Now that time they put a life and a life of family as threats. Now they see the pattern. But now forget now this guy. Now they expose the Nigeria government on how number 40 become number one. A lot of things that they do. Now him be the person be say the day behind of all these things. Now before we proceed there, we just report about how Governor Solodo take off for the release of Mazina the Kano. Right now they talk to now, so it's a big dance movement. They attack Governor Solodo because it they call for the release of Mazina the Kano. We just see this right up here from Simon Epasi. One funny thing is that those who were shouting Briafa with our leader Mazina the Kano are now shouting at Peter be claiming Obi will bring Briafa and now fighting at Governor Solodo for calling for the release of Mazina the Kano. How do we solve this mathematics? Haru Melo. He said be a person. The matter is tired. But moving on more gives you more solution to this people that sense good day. Now if we must look into ends of time, we go know say a few years back to, uh, during COVID nineteen, Nigeria we are denied for Indomie. Before you vote this year, please remember this government deny us ordinary Indomie. Why the masses were hungry? If they cannot give us Indomie, just imagine what they are doing with our money. Now, one question I want to ask Nigeria people: Now, say Peter be no day a power, no day. Waiting, Peter will be to during the lockdown. He's a businessman. I don't hear any report about Peter B. I hear report about church men, like people like them, uh, Pastor Jeremiah, low truck of Indomie. Me, I'm not talking about the government now. I talk about those who get good mindset. Talk about people like uh, Dome J, they go out, they distribute him. see a lot of people. We be like, see, not everybody doesn't come outside. But we see a lot of people that is doing well. We be say, God do so kind things. But imagine this particular government will lock you inside us. Food they give, they let the food rot. You just watch the video without talking further. This stampede is not caused by an incident the people are running away from. Far from it. It is a free for all, and hundreds have come from far and near to this warehouse in Oshun State, Southwest Nigeria, to help themselves. The food stock being carted away was stored by Kakovid, a private sector initiated supporting the fight to mitigate the effects of the coronavirus. But to these people, at a time when they are feeling the crunch of the lockdown first from COVID-19, then the end SARS protests, Christmas has come early bearing gifts. Still in the southwest, some looters in Ekiti State invaded the federal government silos and the Agri Development Program warehouse in Adirkiti, the state capital, looting bagged items and other materials. In their large numbers, the people besieged locations apparently to cart away food items, especially Kakovid palliatives, being witnessed in some other states across the country. In Edo State, crowds besieged Medical Stores Row in Benin City, where looters broke into a warehouse storing COVID-19 palliatives. A young, a young man, man who gained access, access into the, the warehouse, warehouse through the back, back entrance is said to have fallen and died while attempting to escape, escape with some items. items. 
Apparent surprise and delight also hit residents in Calabar, the Cross River State Capital, and no one wants to miss out on the opportunity. Same excitement is experienced in Kwara State, North Central, where another car COVID warehouse stored in a cargo terminal at the state airport has seen hundreds flooding in and out with their loot. If you look this video, tell yourself the truth. Be like say Nigeria, they fight third world, con uh, third world war be anti-Putin. COVID-19. For Europe here, they give us everything we want. You go out, you go buy things, you store your ass full. Imagine. They use hungry key people, people pack on my side. All these people now the presidential candidate. No state waiting no affect. Even where those things carry people be matter for it too. I play. Everybody collect. Everybody collect. So wait you call wait you call this special now to continue with this kind of government will go hide on a random me from you. And that I mean not understand. And for the Igbos, more just watch this video. For the Igbos, people like say on the support this brave and more watch. This video from Ojukumo here we didn't talk for yeah. But actually the Biafran problem was nothing except the genocide. There was no distinction, the mere fact that you were an Easterner in those days labeled you fit only for one thing, death. And death at the hands of the Nigerian authorities. The Ebos and their associates were killed in practically every village in northern Nigeria. They were killed in many places in western Nigeria. They were Lagos, even on Kata Bridge, the very center of Lagos. People were looked at and they thought, oh, this looked an Ebo and killed. The very first army officer killed in Lagos, actually, during that time, was um, uh, from Calabar. Was killed on, uh, on the bridge, and so on. Ebos were being hunted out and killed. The Ebos that remained in Lagos after the war began were herded together and detained without any trial or anything, no question of any legal rights. Till today, property of Ebos are still sequestered in various areas of Nigeria, and they have not been released, not all of them, uh, to uh, the Ebos, the original owners. Oh no, we're quite certain. In fact, the only reason it is not called or not accepted as genocidal is because, because of the Cold, Cold War. War. At, At that, that time, time anything, anything ethnic based, based was, was almost like, like a, an, insult an insult to humanity. humanity. And, and uh, ethnicity, ethnicity became a term, a term of, of abuse in politics. politics. That's, That's all. all. If it, if it were, were today, today certainly, what, what happened, happened in Nigeria, Nigeria is much, much, much worse than what, what you have seen of Rwanda. Rwanda. Not to not talk about Eastern Europe. I hear from Ojuku. No, now wise up here. Now moving on to the Kinga matter. This Kinga here, we in. Watch the video here. By policemen, they came with different uh, Siena vehicles, uh, all those kind of long, long vehicles, and they opened fire immediately. So you don't, you can't identify them. You cannot identify them because he, he wasn't with a police car. He wasn't with a police car. So we are calling everybody, even who can get help. We have policemen, we don't even know whether they have, been, uh, they have killed them. We can't even know what is going on outside here right now as I'm talking to you now. But I saw when the first gunfire was opened, I have to run inside. So I don't know whether, but my father is in the next house. But we run inside first to, to get into the house. So I don't know how long the policemen here can, can hold them. Please, if there's anybody you can call, just call. Like, please. We're in a call, we're in my house. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you. Now, see this thing. Freedom at last. As the court frees Nam Dekanu, 
I celebrate with my brother Manzi Nandikano on his victory at the Appeal Court. I thank his lawyers and numerous supporters. I thank the Nigeria judiciary. I urge President Buhari and the DSS to open the gates. So this one, I think, a tweet when the DBC, the, uh, the news broke out about the release of Manzi Nandikano from the court. Nah, oh my. This is not the latest one we make say Ikenga reaffirm call for Mazina the Kano's release as first step forward funding peace. Now what they call the cook now is to go fuck this guy up. So that they'll say Bob never since we do the support Mazina the Kano. Nitrate call the face in life. But that is not the main reason that they, they come after this guy. The main reason is the exposition this guy they make about how I need to the register people don't die, the register China people, or Kong, the, the register may female. In fact, the register both dead body in 1990 something. Now, those reasons that they come for this guy is there. But they just see a quick opportunity, say, support Mazina the Kano. May they just rush her, may they eliminate her, may they say, but now the people for non government, now they go bring her down because if they support Mazina the Kano. That's our Nigeria government. They never shall be operating. They never shall be, they never shall be do neat job because this is the wrong time for them to attack her. Because anybody will call for Mazina the Kano release, that person wants peace and nobody will attack. That kind of person. More of you is you comment, subscribe, and share to all social media platforms. If you said to come across our channel, please just for me subscribe before you jump out of this video. All of my people.